So we, the recording is starting now. Um, we're going to be, as soon as the clock on my computer says 11, I'll get started. Um, um, uh, it's, you know, okay, here we are. It's 11 o'clock. All right. So welcome to Art World Estonia. Um, we have three fantastic guests uh, uh, in line, online for you. The first guest is Vilin Kunapu, who is a renowned architect and artist from Estonia, of course. Um, he uh, has created some amazing buildings, which I'm going to ask Laura to put up on the screen later in a little while while he's talking. Uh, we have uh, Kaya Kessa, who is an artist, a gallery owner, and a printmaker, master printmaker. So she's a a uh, great artist who I had the fortune of um, meeting when I was in Estonia um, last year. Uh, we brought uh, a show called Edge to Edge to the Fala Gallery and to Tartu Art House last summer, uh, where we, um, and I was trying to get to know some Estonian artists, and I found Kaya's work and then sort of went to her gallery, and that's how we met. And then we have Kelly Tourman, who runs Noir, which is the uh, the most the the database for Nordic and and Baltic artists. Um, there's about six thousand artists on this website. Uh, you can buy art from that website, um, and it's a fantastic resource. It's what I used when I wanted to learn about the Estonian art world. Uh, before I knew anything at all about it. Uh, we're going to start with, with Villain. Villain, um, I had the fortune of visiting your house and several of the buildings that you built, that, you'd, um, that you were the architect on, and they're quite um, unique. Um, Laura, if you can put up the, um, the Science Center in Tartu, I believe it's the Science Center in Tartu and some of his other architectural works online. You'll be able to see what um, what um, what they that, oh, that okay. That's one of his um, that's one of his paintings. This is Atlantis, which is here in um, in Los Angeles at the moment. Um, can you um, show a couple of his uh, buildings from the website? Um, she's she's putting that together now. But basically, what you can what you'll you'll find is that one thing I I really enjoy about Villain's work is that Villain, your architecture, um, your paintings, and your architecture have a lot in common. Um, that you you you're very fond of um, you the kind of motifs you use are very you know um, they're they're steeped in history. Um, and so why don't you talk a little bit about your architecture as it relates to your, your paintings. So, <clears throat> uh, I can say that uh, when, I, when I do architecture, then I, I feel uh, myself like an like, uh, uh, artist, like a painter. But when I do painting, then I, then I feel mm, more like architect. So that, that is combined. I am painting my, my dream world, uh, let's say architectural dream world. But when I do architecture, then, then, I, then I am art, artist. I, the reason why I, I do architecture is I want to make art. That is the main reason. I want, I want to make good, good art, let's say building art or, or architectural art. And then will come all those functions and, and constructions and tubes and, and et cetera, et cetera, interiors. That is, let's say, the, the, the force what is uh, pushing me when I, I, I do something. Yeah, I mean, one of, one of the things that really rem is remarkable about your architecture 
and your painting is that it all it's all very spiritual um it has a connection to ancient buildings and ancient uh, beliefs and also modern beliefs so how does uh, how does spirit the spirit spirituality uh and and fit into your painting and your architecture yeah when i was young and i belonged to the on a group called uh, Tallinn 10 and the, the guys were almost all quite spiritual but but that time we didn't speak about spirituality at all we just did and we we had a fun we were drinking a lot and and that was uh, that was let's say 70s 80s even early 90s but then i had certain crisis and then i met the the, the american uh, natives we call them, them indians they came to estonia and we did all together on an island, a woman island ceremony. And then on that ceremony, I, I changed completely. And after that, I started to make certain spiritual art or spiritual architecture. And that was, I, I, like, I like became somebody else. So tell me, tell me a little bit. One of the questions that I asked you when I visited you in Estonia, um, last year was um, I noticed that your paintings are very childlike or they're very free. They're painted uh, with beautiful colors, wonderful um, feelings of joy. And, um, and so tell me a little bit about how you feel when you paint and why you paint in the style that you paint in. I mean, it's your style, but yeah. Yeah, I know maybe because I am architect, I, the geometry is in my blood. I, I just, geometry is for me, you know, it's very easy to make geometry. But when I paint, I don't think at all. I, I am like animal or, or, or monkey or some, and I don't have very good technique. So I, I paint just like, but, but I am interested in, in energy and power. And I paint pow power, I, I paint energy. And, and then like, let's say like, like monkey or like a wolf or something, yeah, the, the animal. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Well, they're gorgeous then, paintings. They always make me, they always make me feel wonderful when I look at them. And, um, and, and it's interesting because there's such a contrast between, they're, they're deeply rooted in geometry and architectural forms but they don't have the details that all your architectural renderings do so they must be it must be nice to not have to be so detailed in your artwork and one thing i, I wanted to say uh, i paint like, like animal but but in, in the end let's say last 10 minutes maybe maybe more maybe less then i i uh, join the the picture with with the the with the field with the common field or with with the with with the uni, uni, universe and that i use certain uh, colors certain uh, tricks and then i i, I am happy I, I feel the huge energy is coming inside to the painting then that is the but it, that's always in the end uh, is the the process of connecting connecting uh, uh, the, with the, let's say I say with co common field, there is certain common field, and I just connect my my field with that big field. <laughs> oh, cool! Well, what we're going to do now is we're going to talk to Kaya Kessa, and Kaya, um, uh, uh, tell us a little bit about your um, your gallery and your your tell us a little bit about your gallery first and the other artists you brought with you um i think you're mute oh there you are now we can hear you oh at least wait unmute are you i can't kaya did you hear my question oh i can't hear you do you hear me now? Oh, there, now I can hear you. Perfect. Great. Mm -hmm. So tell us about tell us about yourself, your work, and the artists you brought with you. Mm -hmm. 
we have a very small calorie uh, and um, we rep represent at the moment the my works and Helen Dacos works. We are both uh, printmakers. We have been uh, working together in uh, in a studio, in printmaking studio here in Tallinn. And um, our gallery is called actually Bach Art Gallery because the name comes from the Estonian um, uh, printmaker Aino Bach. Mm. Uh, from uh, she she was uh, uh, studying uh, in the beginning of last century in the famous Estonian famous art school Pallas, and uh, she was very experimentative printmaking, and so so are we. <laughs> and uh, here in the, uh, in the gallery. What can I tell you first uh, about Helen's works? My or sure. my works? Yes, mine. tell us about Helen's first and then we'll talk about yours. Yes. So uh, Helen is a very creative and experimentative printmaker. She um, mostly works with uh, photopolymer and electro etching, with, which is a uh, uh, very good new technique for mm, etching the copper plates and uh, and so on. And she she's very uh, talented. She's also making uh, many uh, um, she's creating objects from the paper. Uh, um, maybe we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and show, show them. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. I think I think Laura has the the slides of Helen's work. Well, that's your work, okay. So let's see what, that's, this is your work. Um, I believe uh, this is Kaya's work. Yes. Um, and I can tell the style. Tell us a little bit about this work. And then when Laura, while Laura's finding okay. Helen's work, we'll go back to it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of my latest works. Uh, it's in uh, uh, quite, uh, quite uh, big print, you can see another version here behind oh, me. Oh yeah, wow, it, yeah. The yellow one went to the exhibition, what, which I opened uh, now last Friday. Mm. Uh, the exhibition's name is is, is uh, Spread Wings, and I have there many butterflies and some other insects and uh, uh, biological topic. So mm, and this, this it's in Mokulito technique, which is quite new here for me and also uh, in- what, Tell uh, us so about the technique. Yes, it's lithography, but not uh, on the stone, printed not on the stone, but uh, from the wood. So I really enjoy this technique because uh, I can draw by my hand directly on a, a ply, a very thin plywood plate. And I, I really like the natural background. You, yeah, I noticed that. That's the first thing that I. That's the first thing that I enjoy that I noticed about this. Besides the the butterfly, the gorgeous butterfly, but the wooden background. Now is this mm -hmm. now whose work? This is this is your work. This is mine. Yes. Tell us a bit about this one. Yes, this is inspired from Estonian nature, and the, this it's from the series called. Um, Mohni. Mohni is a very small island in northern Estonia and no people are living there but there is very natural uh, nature, very pure nature. And uh, this is a stone from this island. I have uh, photographed the stones and printed in uh, photopolymer uh, technique. Uh, cool. Let's show the next one. I love this one. Oh yeah, this is okay. This is one of the ones that I may have seen when I was at your gallery last year. Tell me a bit. Tell us about this one. Yes, this one is from the series called uh, Bright Souls, and uh, uh, the name of that work is a Quiet Morning. And uh, <clears throat> I've been using here also photopolymer because I really like to photograph the nature and I, I like to use it in my prints. This is the back background and uh, the boat is made with a tripoint and I have 
I've been using here the um, uh, old photos from uh, um, old Estonian people from the last or I don't know last century. So I have it's in a Chine Collé technique, so three techniques. So you've got three techniques in one print. Wow, that's mm -hmm. pretty amazing. Yes. How big? How big is this one? Uh, it's about uh, 40 centimeters wide. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's uh, let's take a look at Helen Taco's work. Um, Laura, can you bring that work up? I believe it's um, I believe it's was with the uh, you should have it there somewhere. Yeah, there you go. Talk to us a little bit about Helen's work. Yes, this one is called um, uh, Dark Matter. Uh, it, and it's a large printed installation from the Synonymous uh, exhibition in, uh, in 2019. Uh, she has been using here um, uh, photopolymer intaglia plates. Oh, okay. Uh, yes. And then, so and then it, she can she makes prints and then constructs it. In, in, yes, in and controlled it, and uh, was she was sewing together. So, uh, but uh, it's it's not, it doesn't exist anymore actually. But she has made wonderful uh, works from the same piece of art. Uh, oh, cool. Collage, I, maybe I can show you, um, yeah. Oh, OK, made, great. Like, this is the afterlife of this uh, uh, artwork, this dark matter. Oh, fantastic. Cool. Yeah. Now, what about this uh, piece that we're looking at here on the screen? Yes. Um, this is really That's cool. Yes, this is very cool. This is um, called day in, day out, and it's also in photopolymer technique. And mm -hmm. you can look at it from the one side and the other side. It's both are the stairs. Actually, the st stairs, uh, stairs in uh, Freedom Square in, in Tallinn. Yeah, I recognize it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very cool. And how about the next one, Laura? Cool. Yeah, OK, this is another version of it. This is gorgeous. Yes, it's called Locus, and um, it's also also kind of uh, installation in a wooden box. And she has been photographing uh, the um, uh, places in uh, in in town, uh, the like which are like secret gardens. You you sometimes you even don't notice. Um, yeah, I could. I can show you. It's in on the wall here. Sorry, I'm walking with my computer. Oh, that's great. It's great. Yes, it's here now. You can see. Oh, this is on the great. one cool. side. It's a uh, like a garden. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the other oh, side wow. mirror. <laughs> Very cool. Very yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. Well, thank mm -hmm. you. I'm gonna I'm gonna move on to Kelly Turman now, and Kelly, mm -hmm. tell us. Thank you, Kai. We're gonna come back to you in a second. Kelly, um, tell us about um. Tell us about noir and uh, and and what what it is. Uh, yeah, um, I'm actually I'm going to start with a little introduction of myself because I'm not. Uh, yeah, great. Please do. Working with uh, noir every day, so uh, I am working um, in a Nordic Baltic Art Center, Nova. Uh, who is cooperating with NOAR. Right, <laughs> That's cool. why I'm uh, uh, representing NOAR today. I'm not an uh, expert on art field in that sense, but uh, I'm aware of what's happening. Uh, and uh, more, more uh, my everyday work um, consists more um, like uh, uh, project plans, uh, 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 supplying uh, grant money and uh, like the boring stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so international cooperation and so on and the uh, different projects but uh, the cooperation is um, that we provide the contact that uh, NOAR uh, platform uh, will have, may, may I say publish so um, besides the artists there there are art stories and the exhibition calendar 
and uh, some pictures I uh, showed you, maybe you can uh, briefly uh, show them and then I could uh, talk uh, more about the artist. Yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. Okay, there's the, this is a screenshot of the, the platform uh, yeah. that you can go to. Um, Laura, you can scroll through the pictures. Um, tell us a little bit of... Uh, uh, now we went to all the... Go, go to the, go one, go one, go couple back, Laura. Backwards to the like... Number, slide. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but yes, this is, um, here are the list of the artists. Uh, in Estonia, uh, there are more than a thousand contemporary artists. And uh, on this platform, um, we are presenting, um, I think, uh, more than half of them. It is quite unique because uh, uh, this platform actually did it, uh, like got all the uh, grand old stars and fresh uh, rising stars on the same sheet because it's not so common that uh, the big artist wants to be uh, near <laughs> the other ones and uh, want to you mean, present so you them. got you got Leonard Lappin and uh, folks like that to be on the site with younger artists. Yes, it's and, the uh, first time it's happened and this is this platform. <laughs> yeah, so Leonard Lappin is um, one of the grand old artists of Estonia and then there's many others, uh, one of whom just recently passed away. Unfortunately, he was one of my favorites. Um, his name escapes me, but um, uh, Pete, yeah, mm -hmm, exactly. Yeah, I mean, the the history of art in Estonia is quite extensive, and I do believe that there's a lot of a very strong printmaking technique throughout the history of art in Estonia. Um, so tell us more about the site. So you managed to put together uh, different artists. Go back one, Laura. Uh, you managed to do stories about the individual artists, both young and old, mm -hmm. older. And we have this exhibition calendar, uh, which uh, presents all the important uh, art events in the region, not only Estonia, but the Baltics and, uh, and uh, Sweden and uh, Finland. So uh, if any of you want to, uh, after this corona crisis is over, want to visit Estonia or Baltics, uh, this is uh, one opportunity to uh, mix and match your own uh, uh, events uh, that would you like to visit if you come here. So upcoming, current ones and past ones. And actually this platform is uh, kind of like an archive itself already today. Uh, so it has a lot of information about uh, artists' uh, events and past events. Uh, uh, it, it is widely used by interior architects and, uh, of course, curators. So it's it has it's it's a bit more than just a sales platform. Uh, of which, course, well, which, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a wonderful resource. Um, how would um, you know, the, 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 the art world in Estonia is uh, not as quote unquote commercial as let's say New York or Los Angeles. Uh, and that's changing gradually, but many of the artists are supported by small grants from the government, um, whatever they can afford on their own, correct? Yes. Yeah, and so the need for a commercial market is um, is growing, which is what your website is helping do. Yes, um, it definitely is. Uh, if the platform is doing well, then of course our artists are getting more paid. So that's the idea behind it. It's like a digital gallery some, uh, in that sense as well. Do you approach, do artists approach you to be on the website or do you approach them? I think the first, uh, when we started uh, in what it was the, this way that we approached them, of course, we uh, uploaded uh, most of them and uh, um, even, uh, well, Andra is uh, uh, the main uh, organizer and uh, running this platform. Uh, she is the kind of person who goes uh, to artists' homes and uh, drags the 
pictures give me show me what you are hiding uh, in the <laughs> closet and uh, take the picture and putting it up and setting the prices and she is like doing all that and uh, after a years it it it, it bec uh, has become this kind of a platform uh, that uh, yes uh, artists are uploading the the art pieces themselves and actually giving the prices so the sh to see all the price level in one platform is is quite uh, extraordinary uh, for Estonian market as well so cool um okay so what we're looking at here i think is some street art from estonia correct uh, well, yeah, it's the latest project that I wanted to uh, point out something, how we are highlighting the artists uh, on, uh, on our platform, because we are not uh, uh, representing uh, selected uh, uh, artists like, okay, these we are representing, these we are not. They're all of them. All who wants to be on the platform can be, and it is free for them. So, but yes, we have to somehow advertise our own platform and uh, to do that, we, are, we have so much good content and uh, some projects we are uh, running uh, uh, under this um, art center that, uh, that I am more involved. So this, um, this goes like that, that the art center will uh, bring uh, in some good projects and uh, we are highlighting the artist uh, that way. So the latest project, this, uh, this one uh, we are seeing at the moment is the um, Smart and City uh, wall pa paintings on the department uh, walls. <laughs> and it, it is uh, done in the um, uh, city Tartu. Uh, we call it uh, the city of great thoughts. <laughs> and um, this is... Um, uh, this one we are seeing, uh, this is uh, Mal Nukas uh, uh, painting now in a large inversion called Faun. I don't know how uh, do you understand what I'm saying because it's it's Estonian, it's the same word Faun. It's kind of, uh, I've heard it, it was like a creature uh, in the Roman mytholo mythology. Oh yeah, okay. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah uh, and, uh, and the story goes that the phones were not so like they are interrupting people's lives and made it uncomfortable. I don't know what's happening now in the building <laughs> behind that wall, but uh, uh, this is one um, one example. And uh, yes, of course, the uh, Malnuka is presented in the platform. And this, uh, how you see the one phone example uh, in the middle um, up uh, uh, there is. Uh, seeing the um, uh, original. Oh, fawn, yeah, the fawn. Yeah, the fawn, yeah. okay, the fawn. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of similar pronunciation, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, so, um, uh, hey, Villain, are you in the, uh, are you on the platform? Yes. Villain is on the platform? Good, I didn't bother to look at, didn't, didn't, okay. didn't take the time to look to see whether he's in there or not. Um, uh, so, I'm going to, um, Turn to the rest to go back to the the guests, um, um, and I wanted to talk uh, with the three of you about what the a little bit about the art world itself, and in Estonia, in Tallinn, in Tartu, in Parnu, um, uh, how do you, I mean? It's a very vibrant art world, uh, art scene in Estonia. It seems to me that Estonians are very, very creative. And there seems to be many, many, many artists in Estonia compared as per capita compared to the size of the country. Um, is it true that there's a strong tradition, a long tradition of art making in Estonia that um, that is continuing to today? Um, what's the art world like? I mean, like I said before, I do believe that a lot of, there's not too many commercial galleries, but hopefully there's going to be more in the future. Um, uh, um, I guess my question would be uh, for Kaya, um, how, what is it like owning a gallery in Estonia and how is it, how is it, um, you know, what's the, what's the atmosphere and, and environment like in Estonia for galleries? Mm -hmm. So, 
our gallery is very small and it's not like uh, people doesn't uh, walk in from the street because we, uh, <laughs> we are on the third floor, but we invite people here and um, they really like to come if you make some event. Uh, unfortunately, at the moment, we can't do it so much. Right. Right. But uh, I can say that um, our gallery is actually quite new, one and a half year ago we established it. But um, uh, for, for now, we have many people who come here and they come, come again, they come back. So, um, well, it's, I mean, one I of think the things- there are people who, who like printmaking. It's, yeah. it's not, well, some years ago, maybe there was a kind of, uh, um, uh, people said that printmaking is not so important, for example, like a um, painting or something, but it has changed now. Yeah, well, printmaking is a wonderful way to, um, to make work that's affordable for people to own, um, but also still just as creative. You've shown us with your prints how many different techniques you use and, and the prints you're making are gorgeous. Um, how, how, um, how strong is the printmaking tradition in Estonia in general? Like, is it have, a, I'm assuming it has a long history. Uh, yes, it has a strong history. Um, I also belong to Estonian uh, Printmakers Association and um, uh, there are um, very, very, even very old printmakers belong there and it's so important for them. And um, well, one of the things that I, I mean, the reason I bring it up is because some of the early, uh, some of the artists that we've shown here in America, uh, we had a show last year called Edge to Edge, where we showed mostly Estonian artists and many, many of them were printmakers, including Leonard Lapin and also um, Thomas Kusing and, uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, Peter Alec and people like that. And the, the skill level is incredible. Uh, the audiences who saw Thomas Kusing's work uh, in particular and Leonard's work uh, were, and Peter Alec, who was Thomas Kusing's teacher, mm -hmm. um, I believe, uh, were pretty incredible. Uh, they're blown away by the, by the skill level. And uh, that's really what I found fascinating. And then when it comes to painting, um, you know, there's great painters in Estonia too. Um, let's go, um, let's talk to um, Villain Kunapu for a minute. Um, uh, Laura, can you put Villain's work up, the group of JPEGs that I sent you real quick? And um, uh, the, I sent you about 10 of them. I think you probably have them right there somewhere. Um, well, we'll wait, we'll see. Uh, where are you there? Oh, there, here it comes. It just takes a little while to share stuff. Okay, so uh, villain, this piece happens to be in my, this Atlanta piece happens to be in my living room now. We're waiting for, the galleries to reopen so we can show it. Tell us a little bit about this painting. Atlantis. A villain, are you there? Let's see. Villain, are you there? I wonder if, uh, let's see if he's, let, let's flip through his paintings and I'll talk about them. Um, Villain, when you come online, let us know so we can talk to you about these paintings. This is called Atlantis. It's about, it's, uh, it's, it's fairly large. It's about um, two feet wide by about four feet, three feet high. It's a really gorgeous piece. Um, Laura, you can flip through to the next ones. 
what I love about these paintings is they have a incredible um, feeling of happiness. And of course, they're very geometric. Um, we heard uh, a lot of um, villains paintings uh, have to do with places he's traveled, like Santorini, which is where this comes from. Hey, villain, are you there? Yeah, yeah talk, talk to us about this painting. Yes, uh, it was about eight years ago, I visited the uh, island Santorini, and then there I felt certain very specific energy. And uh, Plato is saying that once upon a time there was Atlantis, uh, but a very long time ago. And I felt certain very mystical, mystical energy there. And then I started, first I did very small watercolors, but then I, I started make bigger and bigger. And then I think I invented certain system, a uh, new, uh, let's say, painting and architecture, it's, it's like mixed. And it's maybe now I do that, it's, it's I say that that is Atlantis, but it, that it could be something something else. But that's, that's my dream or my, my feeling, or what I, I felt on that island. Yeah, I mean, the, um, let's go to a couple of more, um, Laura. Tell us about, is this a Santorini as well? Yes, Magic Santorini too. Yeah. Um, it, it definitely, I mean, the, the, they look fun to paint. Besides being about power, they look, they look like it's fun to make them. That, that, that is the house I was with my wife there. And I, I started to paint. Uh, we lived in that house. There was a swimming pool, small. We were reading, eating there. And then I started to make small watercolors. Then it was quite hot. Then I jumped into the swimming pool, then back. And then I, I did my, let's say, about 10, 10 watercolors about Santorini. And th that was the beginning. After that, I, I started to make them, them bigger. Uh, and, and now they are quite big. Maybe I am going to start tomorrow with a painting uh, two uh, to three meters. I don't know what is in your- <laughs> Yeah, interest. two to three meters is like six feet, we, uh, six feet by nine feet. That's yeah, a big yeah. painting. Yeah, yeah, then- I, I've, I've been in your studio before. That's gonna fill part of your studio pretty big. Two pieces. Uh, okay, great. I, I, later I, I put them. Ah, okay. Show the next one, Laura. Ah, this is great. This is cool. Is this more Santorini, right? Yeah, this is two, two to uh, 150 centimeters, two meters. To, yeah. So I, I notice you have, um, I notice you have symbols and mathematics and numbers and things like that. Tell us a little bit about the um, characters that you add. Yeah, then when I, I, let's say I paint city or village or something, then there are many, many people and there are windows and cars, but, but, but it's, it's for me, it's not, I'm not interested to paint them all. But then I, I, I started to, to use some signs, some, let's say cross, then maybe very ancient, uh, uh, the um, Rooney, uh, Rooney, Rooney sign. I don't know what's Rooney. Yeah, Rooney. yeah, Runic, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah something, but I, I love them, I, I, I feel them, but, but when I do, they, they, they become my science. They, I, I don't want to follow the theories or something that uh, I, I take, let's say that cross, that is my, my cross, and I put my energy there, that is the symbol of happiness, the cross. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. And uh, I noticed you also use some symbols of fish and then some swirls and stuff. They yeah, all they all feel very um, they all they feel very ancient, uh, very okay. well mystical. Yeah. I think, yeah, but, but they are quite simple, and I, I I just put my 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 feelings. They are not something, uh, let's say, uh, the the witch witch uh, stuff. But that's my my art stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, Let's flip through a couple of more of these real quick. Um, yeah, this one I love. 
this is connected very closely to you because it's a reproduction of one of your buildings, correct? Yeah, yeah. Snail Tower, it's in Tartu. So how did you um, how did you convince your clients to allow you to make your building so colorful? But, but actually, it, 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 the painting is colorful, but, but the, the building itself, it, it's white. Uh, there are very interesting windows. And there, I, there is, re yeah, red. Is, in, in, the inside is like red. But but mm -hmm. not too many colors. There. But your newest your newest buildings, the one you've been the ones you've been yeah. building lately in the last few years, they're very colorful buildings. Yeah, this one is yeah yeah yeah. The the new one the new one by Kadriorg, yeah, which I wish I had given you a picture, Laura, to show it. But let's go. Let's see the last. Yeah, this is. Um, yeah, this yeah. this this one is. This is this this. Town, yeah, in Tallinn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. More expre expressive. I started to make now. I do more more expressionist. Uh, uh, just it's it's not exactly the, the the upper town. It's maybe maybe not. It's something like dream or yeah. This but, this is a sort of a dream reproduction. The the one this one is sort of a dream reproduction of the old town in Tallinn. If you've yeah. ever been there, you should. If you haven't ever been there, you should go. Um, uh, let's see the last two paintings and then we'll go to, uh, oh, there he is. There's Villain in his studio. Yeah, that's his studio, yeah. So thank you, Villain, for showing us your work. It's really great. Um, Kaya, I'm gonna talk with you for a second. Tell, tell us about um, the origin of your printmaking. Um, I noticed that you're like, how did you, um, I noticed you like insects in your, some of your uh, prints. Um, tell us a little bit about your um, the origins of your work. Yes, uh, the um, couple of years ago I started one series uh, dedicated to the um, uh, bees. It was the reason why I did it. It was because the bees. Uh, there are so many news all around us that bees are dying because of the chemistry we are using in uh, on the fields in nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I started with the bees and uh, the other insects uh, like the butterflies and, um, and different. Uh, nature has been my favorite topic for a long time. Uh, I have also made many botanical uh, dry point uh, prints and um, mm, I was born in Tallinn but uh, I was living in uh, uh, over more than uh, 10 years in countryside clo close to Tallinn in uh, uh, next to Lilleoru and I uh, had my own garden and maybe that's uh, one of the reasons why I started to, to draw so many um, botanical images. Uh-huh, cool. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking right now at, at some of your images from, uh, yeah. from, your web, from your website, from the gallery website. And one, uh, mm -hmm. go ahead. The one from, on the left is called, uh, 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 hundred yeah. whispers, and you see it's the um, how the nest from not bees but the other ones. You know, it's uh, you mean the wasps look like a ro rose, but it's actually it's the, the hornet hornet nest. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Very cool. I love this uh, Papilio Ulysses. Um, mm -hmm. That. Is that related to Ulysses from the myth? Uh, it's uh, yes. It's it's the um, uh, usually I put names um, uh, to my butterflies and uh, to plants as they are in in Latin. Mm, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it has been drawn on the in tri point on the metal plate. Very cool, very cool. Here's some more yeah, of your- Yeah, here are my collage technique. Yeah, very cool. So this is 
print and collage, correct? Print and collage, etching plus dry point plus collage. Wow. And what edition sizes are these? 20. Uh, okay. So there's mm -hmm. 20, an edition of 20. This is great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are wonderful. How, what size are these? Like, like the size on the behind you? Uh, yes, yes. Ah, so they're, they're small. Yeah, this is the same, yes. Oh, okay, Quite there you small. go. Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for bringing uh, Helen's work and your work to our audience. And uh, Kelly, uh, thank you very much for bringing uh, so much wonderful work to the, the audiences all over the world. I think people should uh, spend some time on your website, on Noir, and, um, and, uh, and take a look at what the Estonian art world is all about. Um, I think we've touched just the tip of the iceberg with this um, discussion amongst all of you, but I want to thank our audience for watching, and I want to thank Laura in the background for doing all the hard work. And so to, to remind people who we've just seen, it's Kelly Turman from Noir. Noir, I think I pronounced it right. And then we have Kaya Kessa um, and Helen Taco, uh, whose work. And then, of course, Villain Kunapu, joyful paintings, uh, wonderful paintings. Anybody who wants to find more information about these works can come to the Venice Institute of Contemporary Art or they can come to the BG Gallery, which also has a, an, um, an online exhibition of the works we've been seeing and some others, um, which the link is in your chat and it's also online. You can go to the BG Gallery, just type in BG Gallery to Google and you'll find the BG Gallery and you'll be able to find out all about this stuff. Um, what's, our, uh, what's our next? episode. I think the next one is, I'm not sure what country we're going to next, but I encourage all of you to watch. We've done a, our previous show was about Brazil. Um, this one, the show about Estonia is being recorded, so you'll be able to watch it if you didn't get a chance to see it. But I want to thank all three of you for coming all the way from Estonia to see us here in Los Angeles. And uh, you guys are wonderful. I love your work. Um, and uh, I'll be in touch with each of you. And uh, thank you for participating in this event. Thank you for inviting. All right, everybody. Ciao. Everybody have a wonderful day. And uh, tell your friends about our show. Take care. Bye, villain. Bye, Kaya. Bye, Kelly. Bye.